I'm often asked by clients when they're having sex either by themselves or with a partner, how do I know when I'm done? <laughs> this is the difference between the male model of sexual response and the female model of sexual response. Mm. I'm sorry, but you're all women are endless pits of pleasure. <laughs> yes. And I used to say all women are bottomless pits of pleasure. Mm -hmm. And it's very true. And we've seen that we've witnessed that in the circles during erotic recess, you can have orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. So I think it's different for each woman. Yeah. And only, you know, when you're done. So how do you know when you're done, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know sometimes when I'm with a partner, uh, I've had uh, some partners take great amusement over it. Like, you know, I, I feel like I, I've had like a few to several orgasms. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm tired. And I usually utter some words like when I can still speak. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then I kind of move well, away. <laughs> I know when you're done in the circle. Yes. The words start, and usually it's the F bomb with the right. of your legs. And then that's when you know you're done. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's when the big one's coming up for sure. <laughs> How do you and know when you're it, done? Well, you know, it's interesting. I mean, it is a function of time, there's nothing wrong with a quickie. Um, some women say they're one and done. It's very, very rare. For me personally, probably three, four, five mm -hmm. waves in. My first wave takes me the longest. And for me, it's when I'm sweaty, I'm out of breath, my heart is racing, mm -hmm. and I've come so high and then kind of cruise in. And now I just want to kind of lay there and hang out in the afterglow. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Very often I take a few you know, moments, maybe a minute, I take a break mm -hmm. and then I might feel like, hmm, why not one more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I, we can really do that for hours. Yes. Yes. And that's what I love about being in the circle is like, I'll get inspiration um, from the other women in the circle. Uh, and if I'm with a partner, I'll get inspiration from a partner. But there's really nothing wrong with the one and done. I mean, I tend to do that. Life gets busy sometimes. And if I don't have an hour to set aside, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, I can be like one and done and just really appreciate, you know, that afterglow. I always make sure that I don't jump up right away, that I take a few minutes to just appreciate the good feelings in my body, to breathe into it. I kind of feel this like glow around my pelvic region, the warmth. Um, yeah, and I can be, I can feel done after one. It is good at the same time to mm -hmm. take an hour. Challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. See how far you can go. You can't break your clit. Mm -hmm. You can't break your vagina. And you will not die from having huge orgasms. You know, Betty asked that question when she started having full body. She asked Grant, she said, well, can anyone die from too much pleasure? Yes. <laughs> said, I've heard people dying for pleasure, but not from pleasure. So it's really how, how far you want to take it, connecting to the body, listening to the body, and just for the fuck of it, go all the way. Just yes. once. You know, yes. just see how much pleasure you can experience. Mm -hmm. Yes.